Hey Sob people, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've made an upload. I am here to give you a channel update. I have not been uploading because I've been in school. I had plans to make two or three videos this week for the channel on a sunroof fix, a cross wheel drive service, and a couple of other things. And I did not get to it because I got pretty sick. Uh, it was not COVID, but I had a major sore throat and I was having trouble speaking. Well, I am now not so sick and able to make videos, but the weather is absolutely terrible outside. You can probably tell by the rain on the window. So it is not great weather to be bringing my equipment outside to make videos. So I figured at least before I have to go back to school uh, in a couple of days here, I will make a quick channel update for you guys so you know exactly what's going on around here. Uh, this may come as a surprise, but I'm looking to sell my Saab. I need the money for school and to fund other Saab projects. The only thing that I will be doing before I possibly sell the car is to swap out the interior back to black because I've put too much work and too much money into keeping this nice tan leather interior. Great, now I can't get my camera to stay where I need it to go. That's cool. Okay, I finally got the camera to stay. Well, like I said, I'll be swapping the interior back to black in this car and then I will be putting the tan probably in whatever car I get next or whatever car I build next, considering I have a whole bunch of these. I'm planning on doing a 2009 Saab Aero Cross Wheel Drive build because the 2008s, as you know, they don't have the electronic limited slip. They just have the regular limited slip, unless you have the Turbo X, of course, but I obviously do not have a Turbo X. I'm looking to go with the electronic limited slip, and hopefully that will be giving me the control that I need to safely drive on the roads right now, especially with a somewhat souped up build. Uh, I will be buying DO88 upgrades again, or possibly saving them from this car, depending on what the buyer wants. As all I'm trying to keep right now, as far as I know, is the intercooler, the radiator, and the charge pipes for... Uh, just the intercooler. I don't want the turbo intake or the inlet. I'm going to do a direct intake through the turbo. Um, I'm going to keep a filter over it, obviously. So to do that, I'll have to do a mass airflow um, delete. Uh, I know a guy who can help me out with that, so that'll be pretty easy. And it'll also save some room under the hood. It's going to get rid of the air box and yeah, I was thinking I could do a uh, open hood for where the uh, intake will be it'll probably be a reverse vent so that when it's raining uh, rain doesn't fall directly onto the filter that's underneath because that would not be good so what i was going to do is get rid of this closed uh, casing right here get rid of this inlet pipe and just put directly a intake on the front of the turbo so something that looks like that right here probably smaller obviously so that i could get it to fit properly but that would open up a whole lot more room for servicing the car putting in uh, bigger exhaust system um, pretty cool if i could put a hole in the hood right here maybe vent it or put a scoop of some sort nothing too ricey so yeah anyway so that's my plan is to sell this car and make some videos this summer i have an internship at a body shop so i'll hopefully be doing some body work this summer uh whether that be on this car if it doesn't sell or my next build, I'm looking to do a full paint job of some sort, whether it's a full black, a full silver, or some type of sky blue. I'm not sure. Definitely one of the three. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you soon.